I forgot to say in this new design for a table, you need to pour the, the wine or the two liter bottle of soda goes in. You have a tube around the outside of them. It's not hooked to the outside, but it can drain into the, into the, into the tube where you go drained into the bathtub. We have them surrounded inside the eyes, lower than the eyes. So they're inside a metal ring and you have a little bit of water in there. I didn't say that and I realized that after I watched the video, but where you put the wine in or the two liter bottles with water, they're inside a, like a round pipe and they're sitting in the eyes and you have a line on each of them at the bottom so you can drain them into the garden hose with a valve. I forgot to say that, but these were the wine or the two liter bottles, you know, four bottles of wine or four two liter bottles of soda. And then you drain them into the common line and into the line that goes into your bathtub out of the wife's chest when the ice melts. You can pull that all out of there with them arm things to wash them. The, the, where it slides down into the ice, you have a pipe with the arm that comes up over, back down, so it can slide into them pipe and slowly sink. It all fits inside the ice, and it all slides down in the ice. And it fits around them, them Pepsi things or whatever. Uh, the, the, they're hooked solid, but you, you can see you dirt, but you can slide it up over them. And then it picks up with the eye chest. You gotta have a way to hook an arm to either, you know, and pull, pull them all out and pull the center up out from around the eye chest and put the eyes in there. Then you, you with a with a the handle so you can put your cold dishes on top, and then all your other food in the middle of the table. And if you can't reach the middle of the table, you can pass it down when you're getting ready to eat and put it in the center and then pull it off the center and have servings if you want seconds. You don't have to go anywhere to get them to right in the center of the table. And I think that's it. I was running out of time and I couldn't get it all in the same video. I only put 10 minutes at a time. But uh, yeah, I, I figured out by pulling the table out to me, I wasn't having to move the chair in and then move it back out. I just slid the chair back down. So after you're done, you, you you know you you can either disassemble the things out of the middle or if you know to take the stuff out of the middle the one per you okay the, on the end when those end things are out you slide the you slide on the chair from the inside because they got to be out so when you're have, setting the chair setting there you slide in from the side of the chair rather than pulling the chair out. You slide in from the side of the chair and set it to the table. There's like a, there'd be like a, a wall or a box corner there because one, one side sides out and the other end sides out to be a hole there we can get in. Although the framework's out farther, you still be able to get in inside the framework that's outside the table part. The table goes out past the frame once you have it going. But the other stuff's inside the framework. But I mean, just the top of the table is inside. You, you ha I haven't drawn anything yet. It's just an idea I came up with tonight. It's getting in the morning. But, uh, but I got the idea because she looked surprised when I pulled the table down to me. I thought, well, that's just the way I do it. And then I got to think, if you had, if you were at a big table, you'd have them roll the things and pull it out to you. And then have a space in the middle to put your food. And I just got to think, well, you want ice, then you want hot. And then it went on from there.